yes. I would love to. Don't touch me with oh, your wet hands. Okay, okay. I, I thought I was bad and bougie. Not bad and bougie. We caught that, sis. Later, girl from Runaway. We have culture, conversation, and community. In today's video, I'm coming to you all with a Zeus Networks One More Chance season two. This is the finale. I don't know how many episodes it was, but girl, this is the finale. So let's just hop right into it, like we always do. The episode kicks off with Mike, Mike, and Chance uh, just talking about like they can essentially just ride off and not choose anybody. You know what I mean? Ride off like real cowboys because I really don't know. And Mike, Mike, I need your help to help me figure out which girl I need to be with. Like, you don't need my, my help, dog. Like, you already know that you ain't feeling none of these chicks. So let it just be what it is. Mike Mike's like, yeah, well, I can grill them a little bit. I can kind of get some more information, stuff that y'all already know, clearly. They're already hinting at going to get a new batch, but Mike Mike's like he's going to do some digging and try to get some more information from out of the girls that we've been with this whole time. So we have Bad and Bougie sitting on the furniture and she's relaxing, reading a magazine or something, girl, you know, preparing for her scene. And in comes Micah and he's just like, you know what, I'm going to just start off with the good that I like about you. You know, I, I think that you're age appropriate. I like you. You're a good age for him. And you don't have any children. You don't come in with any baggage. You know what I mean? Because my brother already got a lot of kids and he doesn't need anybody adding to the clan. And I'm like, Oof, girl. But I'm kind of feeling like, you know, you went crazy on Mangina, rightfully so. And, you know, you just have this crazy look about you and, you know, you keep going off on people. But, like, do y'all not remember last season when Yodala was literally attacking everybody in the house and nobody said nothing? But Adam Bougie's doing too much? Okay. <sighs> then he hits her with the, with the, with the boom bow. He says, yeah, now I've heard that you are a prostitute. And she was like, a prostitute? Do I look like a prostitute? Yeah, a little bit you do. A little a little bit. Maybe not a prostitute. Maybe not a street walker. Okay. But you selling some puss on the side. I mean, I don't know. It's giving me very much high end escort. Um, <laughs> you know, you do show and pop your puss on OnlyFans. So if not a prostitute, then the sex worker. I guess that's the more appropriate term. I don't really know. But yes, yeah, you you do give um pay to play but what i did like about her she took control of the situation she said you know what i really want you to know that i'm i'm really here for your brother and i know that you come from a large family you know he tells me about the ranch and on the farm and i really want those same things i come from a large family too and i'm not just here for clout i you know i'm really here because i want a family as well i love the fact that she like took control of the scene like yeah i know you're trying to play me right now but um <laughs> this is a veteran okay show us your veteran walk and she's doing all of the things basically she just says you know what i'm here for family not just for the clout i'm like okay not just for the clout i'm also here for family too <laughs> and a little bit of clout soldier girls in her room and in comes micah and she like hey brother-in-law and he like oh y'all went and got married without me and i know she's like no i'm just saying like it's it's soon to come it's soon to come and he's like yeah that's what we need to talk about because you have this air of confidence about you and I mean, like, who said that he was going to pick you? You know what I mean? Like, who said that? Who said that? <laughs> who said that? <laughs> Girl, stop. It's clear that Mike Mike doesn't like her. He's like, you're too confident. You think you just got the cat in the bag because you're giving up the cat? Like, basically, that's what she thinks. Like, you're running around the house broadcasting that you sleep with my brother, but it's going to take more than that. And I'm like, dog, do you know your brother? Because it don't take more than that. Okay, it really don't. She's going on trying to prove her case, but we talk during the day too. We don't just have sex and we like each other and we know each other. We have a deep connection. More like, uh, he be going deep. She is adamant. She's like, we have a real connection and I don't have three kids. I have two kids and by two different baby daddies. Yeah, that's true, but he has kids as well. And I love that she's sticking up for herself. Yeah, she got kids. So what y'all? People have children. It is what it is. She also mentioned that all the girls was like in drama. She wasn't in any drama. She did not care and she was just here for her man and she was like everybody was talking about everybody pussy this pussy that and he was just like um yeah you too she was like no everybody was talking about my puss my puss my puss she loved mentioning puss like 
We get it, sis. We got you. She mentioned it in the last episode. She mentioned it in this episode. She mentioned it in the episode before. Everybody's worried about my puss. Like, no, you keep talking about it like it's your brand, sis. Like, I can see if you had your own beauty line. It was like, this is the name of my product, puss. Like, is it product placement? What is it giving? She's adamant on saying that, you know, he has kids and I have kids and we both know how to co-parent and we know what it's like to have to deal with it. And I think we're a better fit for each other. Mike Mike's like, yeah, okay. Then he tried to play her because he was like, what's that word I'm looking for? He was like, what the word? Like, girl, <laughs> that was funny. Have that deeper connection, like through our conversations and the time that we spend and just the like, what's that word? What's that word? And the next scene we have um, Chance and the girls, the final date with the final two. And, you know, he's excited. He got his, you know, knotless braids and he got a champagne and they, they're doing their thing bad and bougie she looked good in her little you know negligee uh soldier girl ain't get fashion notion soldier girl gave blush mark <laughs> soldier girl's giving she in and ain't nothing wrong with it ain't nothing wrong with she in her blush mark but i'm just saying you know we if we gonna we gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it when they come into the kitchen bad and bougie grabs him and kisses him Soulja Girl's like, mm, thirsty. And then she went right after her and like grabs him and started kissing him in the face and to him in the face and doing all this. And Bad Bougie just sitting there looking. Now Chance is like, I don't know how to open champagne. So can you do this? So um, Bad Bougie's like, yeah, I open champagne all the time. I'll do it. I'll do it. And then she opens it and kind of like sprays everywhere, which is why I, hate I do not like opening up champagne. And then you would have been, why are you asking the women? That is weird to me because sir, open up this bottle and start playing. But in the process of her opening up the bottle, it spills everywhere. And she was like, well, it was warm. What did you think? It was like, yeah, I know. That's why I handed it to you. And she, he spills it. She spills it on herself. So she's like, yeah, no, it's fine. Come get it off. No, it's fine. Like she, she, she's so even killed. She keeps her cool, like under even like weird and awkward situations. Appreciate that about her. And Chance is acting on weird, like, uh, uh, and then like Soldier Girl was like, you know, trying to say little smart remarks. She just showing off. She don't know what she doing. Like, you ain't offered to do it. So when he, so she had to tell him like three or four times to come lick this champagne off of her, you know, who has, and he does it. He's like, oh, don't get, don't touch me. Don't put it on my hand. She's like, okay, I really see who's the bad and bougie one. I'm like, girl, we catching all that shit, sis. We, we, we call all that. <laughs> at least I did. And then uh, Soldier Girl starts coming at bad and bougie for her age. And she's like, yes, I can teach you some stuff. I can teach you your ABCs and your one, two, threes. And they're just going back and forth arguing about you're old and you're young and you're dumb and you're old and you're young and you're dumb. Like this is the back and forth. Soldier Girl was losing in my opinion though. You're the same age as my grandma you're in my grandma's yearbook dog you're whack that's just like jesus signed your yearbook like who even uses that joke um soldier girl's like 22 bad and bougie's like 37 they got a cute distance the cute amount of uh, age difference and bad and bougie is looking the good she looks good like i mean like ain't no if ants or butter ain't, ain't no way to flip it diff it not even for her age she looks good period okay and 37 is not old like let's just get away from that you're only as old as how you feel my opinion and my humble opinion okay bad and bougie was eating her up <laughs> bad and bougie was eating her up okay he was like you can't take her home to, you, to your mom she don't even have a proper grammar you can't take her to a business meeting she doesn't know how to carry herself look at her she can't even talk <laughs> you know she kind of like stutters and she got that little voice you know I, what's that word what's that word again like girl i'm got time for that she's bad Adam who says, I hope you make the right choice. You know, make the right choice, Chance. And she was like, Soulja Girl was like, don't make the fake one. So Chance is like, he, she's trying to, mint, you know, speak to. And Bad and Bougie her out. Like, I know what she's talking about. She's like, girl, everything about you was fake. Like, and then she was like, like what? She's like, that wig you wearing. I was like, ooh, not that wig you wearing. She was like, yes. What about your lips, your lips, your titties, your ass? Everything is fake. Girl, she's like, I'm natural. Soldier girl was like, I'm natural. She starts doing a little twerk. She was like, your your butt is loose and you're only 22. Your booty is loose. I don't know, dude. I don't I don't know nothing about no loose booty or tight booty, but like what I'm trying to make is Bad Bougie was very concerned. Like, girl, oh no, you it's dark down there. What is happening? What in the world needs some bleach down there? Like when she said that, girl, I cracked up. Like, what? She honestly sounded concerned for for the young girl. She did. She said, What the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay. Oh, so they start they start, they're still bigger and still back with chances just in the middle, like he always is. She's basically said, I've been had big lips. I my lips are natural, but girl. We know you got work done too, Bad and Bougie. Don't sit up here and play like you ain't doing a lot to maintenance 
what you got going on, sis, because you do. And she, so she posted something on her um, Instagram, her baby picture. I'm going to post it on the screen if I got time while I'm editing. But um, she said, yeah, I've been had big lips, but like, was your forehead always that tight? All right, no, anyway, I'm moving on. Your girl says, you need to be with me. Um, Bad and Bougie says, well, I'm worldwide. I'm world travel, world class. You know, I'm culture. And she's like, yeah, you've been around the world. Been around the world. She's like, yeah, I have. I have. But she's like, yeah, no, that's not how I mean it. She's like, no, I know that's, I know that's not how you mean it. But I have been around the world. And I am traveled. And yada, yada, yada. And she was like, this girl, she's, she, um... She don't have any friends. She can't even speak right. That's why she, she said she had to go home and get somebody to watch her kids because they in Georgia. She was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So she was like, you in Georgia by yourself? She was like, yeah, she did. it's just her baby dad and her children in Georgia. She was like, yeah, because we were stationed together. And you could tell she hit a button. You could tell she hit that button. So she was like, yeah, we were stationed together. And I don't have anybody to watch my kids. It's just me and my baby dad. And, da -da -da. and, and I would be mindful not to talk about kids. Don't talk about kids. Don't talk about my kids. And she was like, oh, so now you want to get high? She's like, Soldier girl, that's not even what that's not even what you giving, baby. I have friends. friends. Just yes. because I don't have friends, yeah, you ain't got, got nobody. Kids. And don't mean I don't got nobody. nobody. That's not even what you gave this whole time. But you could tell she was striking a nerve. Like, you tried to make it seem like it was about them kids, but really what it was, sis, that old lady was eating you up. That's what it was. You just wasn't with enough. And you had to just like get mad and get angry real quick because bad and bougie, the old lady, the grandma who's in the yearbook was running circles around you. I was mad too, shit. You know what I mean? That's what a typical 22 year old is going to do. Like if they can't handle the mouth, then they want to come with the, oh yeah, oh, oh, oh. You feel me? But I know you got to have the strong verbal game and she really just doesn't have it. Soldier girl walks off because Chance was like, I had enough. And then Chance followed her. She was like, no, I'm just saying the kid thing is too much. Girl, she did not say anything about your kid. She said you ain't had nobody to watch him. Why is that such a trigger point to you? Why are you so Why are you so upset about that? You ain't had nobody to watch your kids. You in Georgia. You by yourself. And there's nothing wrong with having no friends, girl. I have no friends either. <laughs> y'all my friends for real that's like y'all leave a comment down below <laughs> give me something to talk about because baby i'll be over here solo dolo actually i'm kind of like concerned about people who have a whole bunch of friends i don't even want you as my friend if you got a whole bunch of friend circles because you can't be real friends with all these people for real for real that's how i'm feeling chance and mike might talk in the next scene and they're talking about how you know went bad the girls are arguing you know what information did you find out and basically he says that um mike mike says that before bad and bougie left i mean before roly poly left she told me that um bad and bougie was a process roly don't have no reason to lie and roly i know she sold that box before we all know she sold that box before so <laughs> that box and that mouth but <laughs> but um chance is so surprised like oh my gosh another prostitute yeah right Chance has this kind of cute awkward scene with his designer good for the black designer hopefully um, you know, this exposure increases his sales and revenue, especially, especially for this last quarter of the year. Okay. If anybody speaking of last quarter, I just made a sale. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'm speaking. Okay. Positivity over anybody who is selling anything in this last final quarter of the year. Girl, get your Christmas coin, get your holiday coin, get your fourth quarter coin. Everybody get your stroll on. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody get their coin. So hopefully this guy, um, I forgot his name, whatever the designer is who made the jacket for him. He sees an increase in his revenue moving right along. So we're finally at eliminations and the girls come out. Um, Soldier girl looks good. I liked her dress. Bad and bougie looked all right. I didn't really care for her dress, but you know, she looked good. She always looks well put together and they're wearing white. Chance walks in like these girls getting on my nerves wearing this white. Like, no, what you think? Like, what do you think? Soldier girl is precious. Like, I really thought it was going to be me and Yodel at the end. I'm sitting next to Bad and Bougie. She was obviously irked that it was Bad and Bougie, but girl, it is what it is. Chance claims he's so disappointed at the last toast that they had because they were arguing back and forth. Like, Chance, please, you ain't fooling nobody. You know that that arguing is what increases the ratings on your show and what obviously lines your pocket. So, Stop pretending. Well, he does a good job. A good, good job pretending that he's so disappointed that the girls were fighting. Bad and Bougie is called. He said, Bad and Bougie, why should I pick you? And he just pretty much, she just pretty much says the same thing that she always says. Because I'm a woman with no baggage. I'm a real woman, actually. You get what I'm saying? You need chance. You already know you need to pick me. And, and any man, I feel like, with good common sense, would have chose Bad and Bougie over. Um, Soldier Girl. I just, that's just what I just think personally. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. If y'all, if y'all were in that situation, who would you choose? Bad and bougie 
or um I mean I don't know now I'm thinking about it who knows probably I probably would have did what Chance did too for real for real because listen comment down below I want to know anyway what y'all thoughts are Soldier girl gets asked the same question why should I choose you and she's like well you know I come with my issues I got kids like kids are not your issues baby you got kids it is what it is but you know we have a real connection and I love you and I miss you so much and I love you so much and I'm just here and I'm just talking because you know I just say a lot of stuff that really don't make sense but I'm pretty and here I am Soldier girl is just saying whatever she can. Bad and bougie hauls off and says, you're dumb. You're a dummy or something like that. She was just, just eating her up the whole time. She's like, oh my gosh, wait, I have to pause. And she was like, what's wrong with you? She was like, oh, my feet, my feet are hurting. And she's like, girl, take your shoes off. She was like, is, is Payless still around? She was like, no, these ain't from Payless. They from Fashion Nova. And she was like, oh, okay, Fashion Nova. You want to talk about Fashion Nova? Like, girl, stop. She said, my shoes cost more than your OnlyFans. Chance chuckled. He's messy she said eric chance and uh bad and bougie was telling her to take the shoes off she refused to her she's in a confessional like every girl knows that when you know your, your legs get weak and your knees get the buckling but i find it interesting that they were always that she was just talking about bad and bougie's kneecaps in the kitchen at the toast right but you ain't here buckling with the knees you get what i'm saying you see how quick that shit turn around that's why you need to just keep it cute sis keep it cute and keep it on mute but um girl she was buckling her she was like girl you need to get up on them bunions stop playing it was like y'all gonna get a, a close-up of her bunions <laughs> her foot her foot was jacked her ankles and y'all know she stands somebody gonna say she stand like a french bully a french bulldog or something like that she was just tore down them she was like just like what's going on the straps don't look like they maintaining your hands and maintaining your ankles so he moves on to bad and bougie and basically says bad and bougie you know i just gotta let you go whatever the case i, I really don't know and she was like she knew that he was gonna like not choose her so she kind of eliminated herself like you know what i'm gonna just leave right here and you make the best decision for you hopefully you don't wait too long he gave she gave him a long embrace and was like hopefully i see you another you know next next time you know don't wait too don't wait too long or whatever and i was like i like how she did that like <laughs> listen she of all out of the one more chance franchise she did well she did she held her own she did period she did that we just talking about it like you know bad and bougie did it then here comes um soldier girl she swore she was getting a hat and long story short she he would he didn't give her a hat he was like i'm just gonna go she was like i'm a, then she came back from around the corner she said i took my shoes off see look i took my shoes off now give me my hat she tried to take it from her he was just like nah like nah you can't have it said i'm serious i need some time to think about it can you give me some time to think about it and she was like really really yes girl really really what you thought it was a game you thought because you gave up the box that you was gonna get the hat girl everybody ain't yummy and you can tell like he really likes yummy y'all think back he was all googly eyed and this that, and that they're like we didn't even see their real chemistry we saw that they were screwing but like he was on her like that so y'all we're gonna have another season a one more chance <laughs> one more chance uh you know season three child i'm like this man is a business businessman he ain't in here trying to look for nothing but a good time to make some money off of and that's just what it is that's just what the game the reunion is about to be good i already know because the girls are fighting you know the girls like the tussle so um but uh make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe shout out to karina you let me know that they was not like you did not get a notification for this video or my last um one more chance video and i was wondering why like <laughs> my views was in the it's in the dungeon i'm like damn you two turned this gave me the cold shoulder but uh make sure y'all like this video because it really helps me on the youtube algorithm greatly i appreciate you karina i appreciate you too sis thank you so much as always i'm sending you so much love and so much light and i will see you in the next video peace